Hey, it's Sunday. Mustang Rebuilder here. We're not working on a piece of equipment today. We're working on a 2005 Punisher Crown Vic. If uh, you want to know a little bit more about her, how I bought her, bought her at an auction, co-parts, um, you can go back to my other videos on her. Today we're working on the brakes, okay? Now this is a budget build car, all right? It's not really a race car, but I'm going to build it to where it sounds nice. It's got more balls in it than uh, the factory did, and this is a P71, so it's an ex-please car, so it's not a regular Crown Vic. But this, I'm doing everything on a budget that the regular guy can do. Okay, I'm not going to be putting a ton of money in this thing to where a high school guy, a young guy, or the average guy can't afford to do what I'm going to do to it, okay? All right. I test drove it with some hard stops. I could tell I had a little bit of uh, warpage in the rotors, probably from previously, you know, it's, it was a police car. This was a detective's car. It's very clean inside and didn't have a lot of um, unnecessary things that need to be unbolted. Okay? The rotors are still in good shape as far as not having any scarring or wore out, but, you know, they probably could have been turned. But I did this video to show you I'm upgrading a little. Now, these are not race car brakes. You guys need to know this. But these are, the brakes I'm putting on here are better than what even came on this, okay? For a couple of reasons, all right? I bought these off of eBay, which you guys can save a ton of money, and I'm going to show you the price difference. Uh, to do this car with normal brakes, with the regular brakes, the cheapest way you could do it at O'Reilly's. Now, if you don't have an O'Reilly's or don't know what O'Reilly's is, it's a national trend chain of auto parts stores you may have an auto zone or, or advance or something like that near you okay but these brakes that i bought for the rotors are zinc coated so they don't rust okay and that way they actually look good if you have custom wheels on it you look through it you can also get these for a few dollars more coated in black i don't know what the coating is but they're they're i i don't know what the hell it is but they're, they're in black so, and they look pretty damn neat, I won't lie to you. These I got here are, they're what's called zinc coated to control rust. They're drilled and slotted, and I'll show you him in a second. And they are actually drilled through to where if they ever got really hot and started to crack, it's to prevent the cracking, okay? And uh, these on eBay with free shipping, and I'll give you a link in the description of the video after we're done were $146.77. That was for the front rotors and the rear and pads. Okay? Now, if I was to go to O'Reilly's or, like I say, National Chain, I priced it out on the Internet today, it would cost me to get the same setup as far as not slotted, but just basically the cheapest way I could get out of doing a brake job on this Crown Vic. Front and rear would have been... $264 plus tax, which came out to I mean, tax in my area and all, would have been about 280 bucks to do what I'm about to do, okay? And we got it done or gone about to do it for, like I said, $146.77. That's $132 savings, all right? So that, that's more money that could go into the build, okay? We're saving money, and I'm making the car safer for whoever gets this car later on. All right, now let me show you. This is how they come. If you order the front and rears, you get two boxes. You get a shallower box. Don't freak out, the shallower box will have the front rotors in it. The next box will be bigger, okay? And on that bigger box, I panicked for a second because I opened the smaller one. It was the rotors for the front, no pads. I opened up the second box, and there's the pads. Underneath there are the, are the rotors for the rear, okay? So all the pads and everything, they, they, they economize. We put one big box, one small box. And let me show you something on these rotors. All right. Now this goes, if you have a Mustang or some other Ford or a town car, uh, a different year Crown Vic, this same company, the name is called Brake Motive 76 on eBay. 
They've got it also for freaking Mitsubishis. I think they got it for almost every car around, a, a popular car, okay? But on the Crown Vic ones, they even tell you, because they're slotted and drilled, which way they're supposed to go, it says front driver side, so you can't mess up, okay? All right, and they give you the new clips, the hardware to put them on, okay? The clips to remove the old ones off. All right. I'm not going to show you how to do these brakes. There's a ton of really good videos on YouTube on how to do these. I'm merely showing you in this one what I'm going to put on, how I save the money, and how you can save it on your bill, build, okay? Because that's what I'm all about is, you know, if I find a deal, I pass it on to you, okay? I don't work for this company. I don't really know this company except for I've looked them up around. They're U.S. made, by the way. These are not China rotors. They're supposed to be U.S. made, okay? So I got a feeling they're actually a top-notch, bigger company that they found another way to get rid of stock, okay, this way. A lot of companies do that. They'll rebrand it something else so they can put, hey, money's money. They got to, more they push out, the better it is, okay? So I'm going to put this on. Listen. If it was complicated, I wouldn't be showing you. I mean, I wouldn't be telling you to do this, all right? I'm going to do this. I'm not going to. I'm going to show you after it's on. It's very simple to do. Now, while I was here and opened this up, I could tell I had a, you know, I got to look at the suspension on the car. There's a couple of things. The ball joint's looking a little wore out. I'll change that. Not today. I'm going to change the front springs in another video. Um, I'm not going to lower the car very much. Not, not Hardly in the front. But I will lower the rear. I'll lower the rear probably an inch. I don't want this car. You know, I still want to be able to drive this car. And that's the whole thing about this whole build. It's going to sound good as far as going down the road. It'll have some performance to it. But you can drive this car anywhere. And that's the way I want to make it. A lot of cars, and I've had them in the past, and built hot rods and all. I could only drive them in town. The fear of going out of town was tremendous and breaking down. Then you got to figure out how to get home or who to call or bring a trailer to you or whatever, you know, okay? So uh, I always tell people, really, don't be pounding on and, and racing your daily driver either because then you don't have your daily driver anymore if your family relies on it. I'm fortunate. i got a bunch of cars, okay? Um, if you guys don't know what else I have, you know, I've, I've got machinery and all, but I keep on the other side of my shop. Oh, it'll be dark in here, so you can't really see, but I, look, you can kind of tell there I have a nice Mustang in there, okay, convertible, okay, anyway, and I really don't beat on that car either, I'm third point to where, you know, I don't beat on stuff very much, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll slam the pedal to it or whatever, you know, but uh, I'm still conservative, all right, like this car, we may upgrade the rear end, because the gearing on these were highway gears. And uh, originally I thought about 373s, mm, not so much. I'm thinking more like uh, 355s. Or I'm thinking about pulling this automatic because I drove the automatic in this today to test it out a little bit. And I didn't like some of the things it was doing. It was driving perfect and then it was a little funny. Perfect, a little funny. So I'm not trusting it so much right now. Till I have my lift put in my shop, we'll drop the pin and look inside the tranny. That's another story, okay? Anyway, I'm going to change these, show you what it looks like on. Uh, and the guys that didn't know about Crown Vic on the rears, let me show you something on the rear brakes here. Pull this stuff out so you'll see. That way you're not surprised if you ever try to do rears on a Crown Vic. You see? See this big, it looks like a big Jeep. Here's the outside, okay? When it goes on, the reason why it's so deep this way is your emergency brake is hubbed inside here. And you'll see it on some other guys' videos that show you how to do the brakes, okay? And these are marked also, so it says, this one says rear passenger side, right? So you can't mess up. Actually, somebody can mess up because they won't read, remember? All right, so what you learned today, remember, uh, if you're not learning something new every day, you must be dead. And what you learned is how to save money today, okay? And how to put 
uh, upgraded brakes. I'm not going to, these are not race car brakes or anything. These are just upgraded from factory, right? And by the way, the pads they send you in that price of this kit, all right, they're ceramic brakes, okay? So they're really good brake pad, okay? And everything I've read about them and checked back with people, everybody's been happy, okay? They might tend to be a little bit more noisier or put a little more dust out, ceramics do. Uh, hang around after I get this on, I get cleaned up, I'm gonna go up to my office and from the office, you know, I always ask a question for the sticker contest, right? It's gonna be a movie slash car or motorcycle question, okay? Hang around and um, I'm also gonna post a picture of the past, one of the past winners. If you are a winner and I send you a sticker, all I ask from you is send a picture of the sticker either on your toolbox or you with your sticker and I'll put you on the next video, okay? So anyway, God bless you and uh, hang around. And by the way, like, in order to enter the contest, remember you gotta like, subscribe, and uh, make a comment in the comments to answering the question. You guys have been fantastic on uh, YouTube. Fan every comment I get, I try to answer as soon as I get them. Um, ah, shit. I'm just going to try to put these fronts on, and it's Sunday. I'm going to try to rest up today. I'm going to take a shower, and I'll ask you the question. And uh, good luck, okay? If you don't win this time, don't worry. The next video, enter it. All right, I always give the, the, to the first two people that answer the question right. And sometimes if you only get the question, you know, halfway right, I help you along. Okay? God bless you. All right. I'm sorry. I wanted to show it to you on before I go inside and clean up my nasty, you know, what hands. Anyway, that's what it looks like on. It's very simple to put on. And uh, only tools you're going to need is a 14 millimeter now I've got air tools okay you don't need them you can use a 14 millimeter socket that's going to take off these back here two two uh, bolts another two bolts that are 18 millimeter okay a lot of socket sets don't have 18s in it so make sure before you do this job that you have an 18 millimeter socket and that really needs to be half inch dry because it's cut those there's two bolts to get off, and you'll see it in the video. Sometimes they're hard to get off. Mine, one came off easy, the other one I just impacted it off, came off. And then you're gonna need some type of a C-clamp, okay? I had that one just laying around, and that's to compress the, the two pistons here, and this is a dual piston caliper. The guy shows you in the video. The video I'm gonna post, I'm gonna post a link, is a very, very, very good video, okay? Very clear cut, very easy. And, uh, you know, keep it simple, stupid. You can do this, all right? So, this is done. Very easy. You can do this in your driveway, guys. Um, I would, if I felt you couldn't, I'd say don't do it. Okay, but, oh, one more quick thing. Remember I told you that when I was driving this car, testing it and hard braking, I felt some kind of little warpage in the rotors? Well, once I got the rotor off, which they come off very easy, on the outside pad, I had plenty of meat. On the inside one, I noticed on, it is getting thin, especially on one side here. The rotor was really nice on the outside, see? But on the inside, I could feel a lot of, lot of distortion, and that's because it caused wearing there. Okay, so sometimes from the outside, it looks good. It's the other side you can't see real well till you pull that rotor off to notice what was going on, okay? Happens a lot of times on cars that um, the sliders here too, that they'll kind of get a little gummed up or whatever. You got to take them apart, re-lubricate them. Or all. It's easy. I'm not talking over your head. This, this is how you do it on a, basically on a lot of cars, okay? You can save a lot of money if you own a Mustang or a lot of other Fords, pickups or whatever. The same company has it. I don't care. Actually, I started scrolling down. It had so many different makes and models. For this kind of the the prices on this brake stuff is fantastic. On the Mustangs, it's even cheaper. I think it might be even ten bucks or fifteen bucks cheaper on Mustangs. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go cleaned up, and then I'm gonna throw the question at you. See you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm all cleaned up. Hey, it's time for the question, right? The movie question in order to win a sticker. You know my saying. Remember, if you're not learning something new every day, you must be dead. 
And the contest rules will be in the description like they always are. It's open to anybody in the world, okay? Um, movie question. The movie is Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. I'm trying to help out the younger guys. I've been posting a lot of old movies, right? So I got to feel a little younger. Uh, the movie came out in 2006. And the um, question is, there was a Ford Mustang in there, 1967 Ford Fastback Mustang. I want to know what motor they put it in. What motor was in that car for the movie? Okay. They tried to fit a particular model of that motor in there. It wouldn't fit. They tried to put a twin turbo. It wouldn't work. But I want to know what motor, uh, model motor it was. Okay. That's all. It's a simple question. It's an inline six. I'll help you out. There'll be a clip of the mo uh, movie showing them building the Mustang. Just give me the, the model of the motor. Okay. And it doesn't count for anything, but if you can guess how much horsepower it was when they're stock, give me an idea, okay? So, movies Fast and Furious, Tokyo Drift. The movie came out in 2006. It's a 1967 Fastback Mustang. They put a motor in it for the movie, because it's made in Japan, right? Put a Japanese motor and tell me what motor it was they put in it, okay? Very simple. Hey, by the way, uh, the brakes that I used in this video, I'll put a link also for the eBay for the company that sells them. They sell them for a wide variety of cars. It's even cheaper for a full set of brakes for Mustangs, okay? And so if you have a Panther platform, that means Crown Vic Town car or whatever, you guys will know. They got those. They got them for imports. Um, they're American made, and uh, they went on really easy, okay? And they're ceramic, too. The, the pads themselves. Anyway, I appreciate everybody's comments, likes, this, that, and the other. You guys really make my day. I try to answer every single comment. Uh, remember, in order to win, you got to be a subscriber. So subscribe, give me a thumbs up, a like, and uh, the comment is the answer to the question. Okay? And I try to do this once or twice a week. So if you don't win this time, don't worry about it. Answer it next time. And I take two winners every week. And I'm going to post up here in a second um, the winner from last time, okay? Guy's name was Steve Stouts. Uh, took, took a picture of him. He took a picture, and it's a great picture of him and his wall of uh, rock auto magnets and my sticker on there. I'm actually honored that it's on his wall. Thanks. I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, anyway, that's it. It's Sunday. I'm going to... I've already cleaned up, so now I'm going to go downstairs, grill up some stuff, feed the wife and the, my dog, and uh, call it a day because tomorrow I'm back to work stump grinding. God bless you, man. Until I see you again next week.